All right, guys, so on the LX with the latest braid we got from Jerry Brown, we got 500 yards of 100 pound test. We are gonna leave it there because it gives enough gap for our customer to cast out and spool it in without worrying about hitting the sidebars. But also during cast, as always, the braid has gotta have a little bit of room to expand out as, it's, as the spool is loose and flying off the reel. So with this, we're gonna leave it as is and we're gonna see how the customer likes it. And later on, maybe we can get it back up to 600 yards. But I am also gonna get with Jerry Brown and figure out why we didn't get 600 off the bat on this one because that's our normal numbers. And I'm thinking maybe it's a newer braid or maybe the coating is a little bit thicker, but yeah, we only got 500 yards. So I will have to do some research and get back to you on that one. But this is an LX Raptor by Avid Reels. And I hope you like this way we, we did it this time because I was trying to get the reel in there so you can see how I'm spooling it, but also the line counter at the same time, which is always pretty cool. Um, you get to kind of see it from my point of view almost. Um, the only other way is for me to get a head mount, and I really don't like those. But we'll see what's up. All right, guys. Here's where that reverse latch loop comes in to play again. Um, when dealing with the hollow core, it, it's something that we use a lot of. And uh, there's actually another way that we can use our loop ended needle to make a reverse latch loop. It's just, it's a little trickier. And uh, I'll have to show you that when I got a little bit more time. And what he's doing is he wants me to create a loop small enough so he can put a snap swivel on here because he likes to keep uh, a snap swivel on there instead of um, taking off his leader every single time so I'm going to create a smaller loop for him but still with the ability for him to open it up and put a snap swivel through um, here's on the tag end obviously I'm going to go back the opposite way and that's creating another he's creating another finger trap for the braid so that way if on a far off chance that this braid will slip on this side with this loop, this one will not slip because it's pulling from a totally different Chinese finger trap on the braid. So. As the needle is passing on the inside of the braid, the coating is rubbing off on, on the tip. And what it's basically doing, it's making it a little harder for me to just push right through it. Um, I'm gonna have to see if they have some kind of maybe a wax or something that I can put on the end of this tip to keep that from happening. Um, one, it's annoying when you're trying to do a, a long loop or end. And here's a prime example. You All right, so right there, right on the tip, you can see how much coating came off the first time or the second time of me passing the needle through. And that's not good, and I'm thinking that's what maybe played a major part in when I spooled up this reel uh, as to why I didn't get the line capacity that would, I would normally get. So I'm gonna have to get Jerry Brown and figure that out. Uh, we'll let y'all know. All right, so I just finished spooling up another LX with the 100 pound Jerry Brown. We were, had requested 12 strand, however, it may be 16 strand have a magnifying glass to be able to count out the strands so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download another LX and repeat the process and I'm gonna see if maybe it was me spooling up with the camera here that got in my way to where I couldn't get it to sit in there the way I normally do or if it is in fact a 16 strand or the other thing is too what I'm thinking is maybe it has a little bit more coating that it normally would have um, when it comes to us from Jerry Brown so there's a few variables in here that I'm gonna try and eliminate as I'm doing this. Um, the other bad thing is I just got in contact with Jerry Brown and they don't have any more 12 strand um, readily available in the amount of yards that we were we are requesting. Their shipment is due in in a few weeks. So I'm gonna try and get this video out, eliminate what I can on my behalf. And my thing is maybe having the camera here to give you all first point of view, that might be the reason. 
I won't know until right now that I'm gonna try it again. So let's see what happens. And just to give an idea too, this is what the reel looks like before um, I down spool it. This actually has a top shot of 130. And I was using this reel for offshore snapper fishing. Um, and I went with such a high test line on the top because I was putting the Vexen inshore series rods through the ringer, you know, as I normally do. I like to see how far gear will go. And it, they perform.
So, right here we've got We've got 500 yards on another LX Raptor, and we've got the nice gap here. However, I'm still not convinced. I'm gonna have to compare pictures between the two 500s and see if maybe this one is a little less or a little more, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, this is my 500. I'm gonna add on another 100 yards and see what it looks like and then that way I can compare all three pictures. Um, this one I did go a little slower but I noticed my line was still jumping back and forth a little bit on me. Been a pretty long day. A little, little tired today but let's see if that has anything as well. So now we're at 600 yards and yeah, there's definitely a difference in the spool, but like I said, I'm going to take a picture of this one and then I'm also going to compare it to the 600 or the 500 of this and also the 500 on the pink reel that we just did. Let's see what happens. Here's the first reel we did in the pink at 500 yards, second reel at 500 yards and as you can see, they're almost identical in the gap on that. So I was pretty close on it, even with the camera in the way. All right, so here's the second reel with the 600 yards. And as you can see, the gap is almost half the size of the other two reels at 500 yards. So now we're going to go ahead and send the line back and see what we can get. But as of right now, we're pretty much right on the money where we're supposed to be. All right, thanks again. Y'all have a good one. Remember, send the subscribers. We need 2,000 to give this rod and reel away. Y'all have a good one. Thank you very much.